Hey everybody. Hey everybody. This is Miss True Redbone making another video. Um, you guys, we're about to make the Popeye's chicken crispy chicken sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> sandwiches. Um, and I'm about to show you how I fillet the chicken breast. I had eight chicken breasts and I was able to break most of them down into three or two fillets so i'm going to show you that briefly and then i'll show you how i bread it and all of that we'll be right back yo yo it's dead in this town you know it's crazy gotta shake things up yeah for real let's go All right, you guys, so um, these are the fillets that I've already cut from a chicken breast. And I'm just gonna show you. So here's my whole fillet. Let me see if you can see it. There you go. And I've been cutting off this extra, like the fatty part. We don't need that. And then I'll clean them real good in cold water once I get through. Because you know, I hope you guys are not cleaning your food in hot water because that can cause salmonella. You have to wash your um, meat in cold water thoroughly. This is a good knife too, y'all. So, just cut it down, get down the center. I think I'm just going to let this one be two. Then I take my mallet and just use this side. Because if you use this side, you guys, with the texture, it'll, it'll shred your meat. So, I just flip it on the... Smooth side and smash it down some. And there you go. shred it up a bit so I may just cut off the excess because I don't want it you know everywhere so I'm gonna go ahead come back to you guys and get my flour and everything ready I already got my grease heating up and all of that all right be right back okay y'all so I'm about to make the flour mixture um, I'm gonna use use your own measurements because I don't measure this part um, this is flour. I think this is about two cups of flour. My grease is popping, so I gotta hurry. Um, breadcrumbs, I probably have not even two tablespoons of breadcrumbs left, but I'm gonna put that in there. I put some parsley flakes in there. So I, I season my flour and not my um, chicken. We're gonna put some garlic powder in here. Y'all, I found this wonderful, delightful tasting thing called garlic pepper. Probably like a couple of months ago. And this is all Clover Valley stuff and Stone Mill, all these and Dollar General seasonings. I gotta get my salt. I might as well use that. And we're gonna use some Old Bay that I have not opened yet. Y'all know I'm having that seafood boil tomorrow, so. Yeah, Old Bay. I'm going to taste it. Taste my, I taste my flour because I want to make sure it's not too much salt. And some um, smoked paprika. They're not really spicy, y'all. 
because um I don't do spicy stuff. But I'm gonna taste my flour once I get this blended well. The kids loved it when I made it. I think I made it like two weeks ago. They really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, especially the sauce that I'm gonna show y'all how to make. The the um, what is that sauce they have, Diamond? It's a spicy mayo or something. So uh, yeah, but I don't use mayo. I use Miracle Whip. So I'm gonna use. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to make that. That's how my flour is looking. It's like a little orangey color. Let me taste it. It's just flour and seasoning, y'all. Don't have a connection. Y'all hear that grease? I think I need some more. I need more of everything. Okay, baby. Okay, Shelby. She coming. So I'll put some more all day in. Some more garlic powder and i'm gonna put some salt in it i don't taste any salt well a little but not much and my kids never put my stuff back where it's supposed to be actually do i want to use salt or do i want to use my steak seasoning because y'all know what i can over season something in a minute Say that again? i will over season something in a hot damn minute girl I think I'm going to put this on the, the mukbang channel, actually. I need to get that one to grow. Let's see. That a, a little dab of do ya. And that's her. She done. I made a milk and egg mixture, y'all. That's about uh, four eggs and some milk. So I'm going to dip in that batter. Dip it in here really good. Let me get some gloves on because anybody who knows Miss True knows. I don't like touching meat. Let me put some more smoke in here. I don't like touching meat, y'all. I really don't. Well, I don't like talking. I don't like touching raw meat, y'all. Let me fix. Let me fix that. I ain't talking. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this PG. I rinsed off my chicken very well, y'all. Let me go ahead and get these gloves on. We gonna go ahead and get these chicken on up in there. We gonna get them chicken on up in there. Burda, burda, burda. And I'm gonna zoom you guys in. And show you. Well, actually, I'll come right back. Well, no, y'all wanna see this part, don't you? I think you wanna see this part. My back is trying to hurt and I got too much work to do. Y'all, I always get sick when it's time to do work. When it's time to do long, hard work. Okay, let me put this. Okay, so this is my chicken. Let me show y'all a good fillet. See that? And I, um, y'all saw me beat it. Beat it! Just beat it! Yeah, girl. I need to make some more dishwater. Move, Diamond, before you knock it over. Hi, guys. So we're going to go ahead and... Where's that pretty one I had? We need to do one video when you cook it and I do the voiceover. <laughs> no, I was I Oh, I dipped it in there already. I lost some chicken. See that? And I would have preferred buttermilk, y'all, but I forgot. Mm -hmm. I was so worried about um, Thanksgiving... Trying to make sure I had all the stuff I needed for that. That I forgot about dinner tonight. You know. And just get it cody. Get it. Because we like our stuff extra crispy. And that's a good. That's a good flour mixture too y'all. Like I said it was two cups of flour. I put some bread crumbs in there. You can use any kind of bread crumbs you want. You know. It's your thing. You gotta eat it. You gotta put it in your mouth. Take it how you want. Yeah. Dust off that excess. Let me see if my grease is hot. It has, honey. Put enough, just enough grease in there to get the party started. You know what I'm saying? You don't want a deep. You don't want it to overflow with grease. You don't want to deep fry it. You want it to just sit in the grease. And these chicken sandwiches are so big, y'all. 
This is the part I don't like, the messy part. When I get rich all, I'm going to have a maid and all of that. A cook. You know, when I win the lottery. <laughs> you too. I should be able to, maybe four or five pieces in this pan. And y'all know I got to leave and go pick up somebody, right? That's the, that's the name of my, that's, that's the you story. Go get her? No, no, no. I got it. I'll go get her. Because okay. that, that, that Audi is not in your name, nor is the insurance. It's literally around the corner. I don't know what the hell you just chewed up on. It's literally around the corner. Or number, 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 number. Yeah, I think this batter is better than, the, the flour is better than it was last time. So, I'm not going to hold y'all for this part. I'm going to go ahead and um, get one more piece in there. And then I will come back when it's time to show y'all how to make the mayo. These are some big pieces. I'm going to show y'all when they're done, y'all. Really simple, really simple. You ain't got to go pay that, what is it, $3.99, $4.99 and, and, and spend your life in the line for a crispy chicken sandwich when you can go home and make it so much better. You ain't got to die over it or nothing. All right, y'all, we'll be right back. Girl, yeah. Okay, you guys, let me show y'all a quick look at what the chicken looks like. Let me chef diamond with that. Chef Diamond did not do it. And that's one of the chicken fillets. Doesn't that look delicious? Delicioso! Can y'all quit talking when I'm... All right, I'll be back and show you guys how to make the spread. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get this sauce. The, um, the, the spicy spread may mayo for the, um, chicken sandwich. Let's go ahead and get that made. Excuse my house. My, my kids are freaking loud for no reason. I want to run up and slap somebody. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. Y'all, this is about six tablespoons of Miracle Whip. And that's because last time I made the sauce, I had to go back and make more because the kids were eating it with french fries. They said it was so good. So, that's my um, Miracle Whip. I'm going to put in probably a tablespoon of fresh garlic. We love garlic around here. About this much, you guys. Of garlic. A little bit. I like a little bit of the juice in there, too. Right now, my fries are cooking. I have my chicken almost done. Um, we're going to put some smoked paprika in here, also. And do it to your taste. Taste your food, you guys. Taste what you are preparing. This is garlic, um, garlic powder. Remember, I don't use garlic salt or onion salt or anything like that. So this is garlic powder. And we're just putting it right into our mayo. Miracle Whip. If you use mayo, use mayo. We, I don't like mayo, so they get what I like. <laughs> but they liked it also. We're going to put some pepper in here. That pepper, give it a good little kick. pepper I'm gonna put a little bit of obey in here the original uh, recipe did have obey in it but I didn't use it last time so let's shake some obey up in here obey gonna get used a lot this weekend this week and some some hot sauce the hot sauce you like I have red hot hot sauce freaks red hot we going we ain't gonna be able to do that we'll pour some hot sauce in here and we really, I don't like anything too spicy, so I don't put much. Let me check my chicken real quick, y'all. All right, so let's see if I can zoom you into this bowl. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually whip that up. And then I'll taste it and see what else I need to add in there. 
It's, it should turn like an orangey color, of course, because of the hot sauce and all those seasonings that we put in there. But it was really good, y'all. And then you're on the butter your buns and, um, you know, kind of put them in a pan a little bit. Let them get a little toasty. Put your lettuce on there if you want cheese. Put you some cheese on your sandwich. I don't. I just like the lettuce and the buttery bun. Mmm, that's good, but I want some more garlic in there, y'all. Some more garlic. We're gonna put some more um, pepper in there, too. But that is delicious. Taste your food. See what else you need to add. Just be careful with salt, you know, when you're putting in your salt. Be careful with salt. I added some more garlic. <clears throat> and some more paprika and a little more of garlic powder but it was I want some more pepper yeah and look at that let me see. That light probably ain't doing it no justice. That will see that, isn't that? The, that looks so good. Y'all got my laptop going. I got my phone going. Let's see. That is freaking perfect. Oh my goodness. I'm ready to smack this on something, y'all. And that was it. Really simple. Miracle Whip. Hot sauce. Paprika smoked or not garlic powder pepper old bay and some garlic fresh garlic jar garlic whatever you use but yeah that's it <coughs> so i'll be right back okay everybody so we're gonna go ahead and put this plate together but this is too big for me this chicken and they all are about this big so i took the little pieces that were just you know little chicken strip sizes and I'm gonna put that on my sandwich. This is too much. All right, so I already put down some of the um, sauce on the bread and lettuce, I love lettuce. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. This might be too much for me. And I buttered my bun, nice <laughs> and toasty. You wanna butter my bun, baby? <laughs> And that's enough for me, y'all. And I got some fries that they cut up too big, but we'll eat them. And that's it. My Popeye's chicken sandwich. Sandwich. Yeah, I'm going to go sit down because my back is trying to hurt. But yeah, I'm going to post this video probably on my mukbang channel. No, I'm going to post it to my regular channel and and then I'll do a mukbang tomorrow. But thank you guys for coming over to my place and hanging with me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am not a secret. Tell a friend to tell a friend to come over here and see Miss True Redbone. Pass me around. No. <laughs> Love, peace, and hair grease, everybody. See y'all tomorrow. Happy early Thanksgiving.